What I have here is a Sinar 4x5 field camera. It has a tilt shift, swivel, up down slide. It's got like all kinds of crazy controls, bellows. You uh, can focus it here, stuff like that. And you can kind of see what it's focused on in this piece of ground glass. Focus. But what I've got is a still life. It is a uh, plant I got this weekend for my wife. And uh, I'm taking a picture of it. From the uh, plant to the back of the camera is close to seven feet. I think it's just a touch over seven feet. And uh, in the past, I've made a board that you can drop in, that you can put your digital SLR. I don't have a digital SLR, so I have a 35 millimeter camera film. And uh, you can put your film, 35 millimeter camera, in like that. But that's okay. What the uh, camera really takes are cartridges like this. This is a uh, four inch by five inch film. There's one piece of film on each side. I have uh, this guy here. I believe I have a box or two of the film for this as well. This is an old Polaroid processor. You can slap this into the camera. So that's fine and dandy, traditional film. So I sat down and designed up a blank plate and printed it on my 3D printer. Made sure that it fit. That it's the right The side. next thing I printed is a film holder for my cell phone. This will drop in as this film holder will. And the neat thing about this is on the back side I have a small hole. And in that hole I have a lens from a CD-ROM drive. That guy right there. Pull the lens off the CD-ROM drive. Put it in the in this cell phone film holder. And with that, I can uh, take pictures. Any other cartridge. Drop it right in. And there we got it with one hand. Turn the phone on. Unlock the phone and uh, get the camera app. And uh, can't really see what it's taking a picture of. But you could focus, focus here, and. Uh, the uh, shutter controls are exposed so you can take a picture and what you end up with is taking a picture of this guy here just a potted plant say a uh, old poster, the light to kind of give it a nice washed background, and a strong light coming up from this side and a little bit from here, just to give it some light. And uh, you can see how big this flower is. And you can see how far away the camera is. And you can see that I take advantage of the um, tilt and shift and all that to uh, take the picture. So you can see that it's 
I just can't get far enough away to show a good picture of this. There you go. You can see I've got the back plane tilted in all kinds of screwy angles trying to get the camera on the same plane as the stamens on the flower so that way all the stamens can stay sharp and then uh, by doing that you can keep everything in focus that you want in focus or you have a better control of focus what's on the camera here but you can see how much of a zoom it is because I'm actually literally pulling a spot about the size of that white lot light right there so all this could be what I'm taking a picture of but just that little bit the camera fell asleep just that little bit right there is how it, it zoomed in on and uh, you can adjust the, the standards here so you can run up down you can slide it in and out the lens independently of the camera and uh, without even changing where you're pointing the camera you can uh, change what's in the view on the, on the cell phone camera the um, CD-ROM lens is a uh, kind of a garbage lens and it's uh, it's noisy it's not a very clear picture but it, uh, it does a trick and uh, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how close of a macro I can get from seven feet away.